Good morning everybody. Thought I would do a little vlog today or at least start one because you know me. Don't generally vlog just one day. It's currently the weekend. It's a Saturday. Look at Nala in the back in her little car seat. I don't know if I've shown this in the vlog. I've definitely shown this on my Instagram. Um, I got this on Amazon and it connects to the chair behind and then it has a seat belt inside this seat so it connects her in so she's all safe and comfortable. It's your little seat, isn't it? This morning, Alfie and I are heading out. We are going to pick up some Stella Patisserie croissants from Cafe Rust. Again, if you follow me on Instagram, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I post most kind of like quicker updates there like most people do but we yes, have the keys, yes the alarm. yes Our voice um, weird down. so we're heading there for our third week in a row to get pastries we're a little bit obsessed with these pastries aren't we <laughs> i don't know if it's a really good thing or a really bad thing about discovering this baby says it's a good thing for you for me, dad bod is in <laughs> progress. Um, what we're going to do is pick them up and then head over to Amanda and Nick's and sit in the garden. It's actually a really lovely sunny day as well. And we're going to sit in the garden and try all the pastries for this week. We've parked up. Now we're just having a nice little summer stroll over. Should we go through this way? Yeah, go through the actual park. It's nice. Getting a bit of exercise as well. <laughs> which I'm definitely not doing enough of, so. Oh, okay, taking on a proper adventure. <laughs> Going a bit off track here. Okay, where the hell are we? <laughs> what do you mean? This isn't Preston Park. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't come in my mountaineering gear. We're out. I knew I could trust you. Goods. <laughs> I'm so excited to eat these. Did you see them in the counter? They look I haven't so seen good. them yet. You're tired. I just really need a wee. Lugging all your pastries along. <laughs> Every step I take, I'm like, I'm gonna wet myself. I'm gonna wet myself. I'm gonna wet myself. <laughs> it's worth it though. It's worth it for the pastries. It is. I'm scared I'm gonna trip. Like, can you imagine? Right. Are you ready? <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> Do you know what I was going to say? If there's a donut. <gasps> they look one? in. Look at the crust. So what do you do? You just buy a selection box. So they, these are the, all the ones that he's done for today. So they've all got. I'll read you all the flavours. Look, Nick. Which one have you got your eye on? Which one? <laughs> They look fantastic. I'll tell you the name of what the earth is that? That's a cruffin with a marshmallow on top. <laughs> <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Sorry. Good morning. It is now Sunday. I actually didn't film much more of yesterday. We had a really nice time with Amanda and Nick in the garden. Absolutely smashed all the crust croissants croissants how do you say it because every time i say it sean says i say it funny croissant is that how you say it croissants <laughs> they were all absolutely delicious and i have got up this morning had a really lovely shower washed my hair did my hair all nice and filmed the first trimester video i think i have about an hour and 20 minutes of footage so that's going to be a fun one to edit and a long one for you guys to watch. <laughs> I did a little ASOS order because I have reached the point in my pregnancy where I cannot do up my jeans and I'm doing the old hairband trick to get some some stretch. Um, but I can't, it's, you know, it works like this but I wouldn't say it's the most comfortable and I don't know how much longer I can do that for. So last night I actually ordered some maternity jeans from ASOS. So I'm gonna try those on as well and see how we get on. I ordered some like over the bump ones and I ordered some with like the elastic at the sides. I don't know which I'm gonna prefer. I am a high waisted jeans wearer, which I don't think is a thing when you're pregnant because unless you're gonna pull your whole jeans up under here 
um, I don't think that works. Um, I just don't know if I'm going to like an over the bump um, bit of panelling or if that's going to make me feel quite um, restricted and hot, especially because I'm going to be going into spring summer now. Um, so I think I prefer the idea of the of the jeans with the elastic at the sides um, But I bought both so I could try both. But generally I think because a lot of my Kind of bigger bump pregnancy is going to be through spring and summer So much of my wardrobe is floaty dresses and like um, Just like nice kind of tight dresses with stretch i think i'm gonna be okay i don't think i'm gonna need to buy too much maternity could be famous last words but i'm gonna try and limit the amount i buy as much as possible um just because you're only going to be wearing it for such a small amount of time and i think as i get more and more pregnant and it gets hotter and hotter generally i think i'm just not gonna want to wear that many clothes <laughs> so uh the floatier and baggier the better but we shall see got my asos package let's go through this and see what i've got so we have asos design maternity high rise slouchy mum jeans in authentic midwash with over i'm gonna assume that means over the bump Oh no, these are the ones with the side panels. Okay, these are, I think these are quite big. Maybe this is for when your bump is bigger. I mean, I'll try them on, <laughs> but they feel quite big. Maybe because they're slouchy style. What did I get here? Oh, maternity bike shorts. I do have some bike shorts. And I really like them in summer with baggy jumpers and baggy t-shirts. And all of mine are already far too tight and uncomfortable. So I thought I'll order some, some of these. So this is an over the bump bike shorts. I think they're in like a khaki green. These ones are, I want to say these are River Island. I did get over the bump. I was right. Is that River Island? Yeah, these are River Island. They're the Carrie Carrie High Rise Mum in Maternity. These look better, I think. Do they? I don't know. These all look so wide for a size six. I just went for my normal regular size but in maternity. I got some more maternity leggings because these I already own a pair and they're just constantly being worn and put in the wash so I was like I'm gonna get another pair of these. I've just been wearing these like under dresses when it's still been quite windy and chilly so I just thought I'd treat myself to another pair. And then ASOS Design Maternity High Rise Original Mum in light wash are these the same as the other ones but light wash instead of slightly darker wash so that's those ones you know i love my mum jean style so let's try some of these on so i think these are just a smidgen too big at the minute because i feel like <laughs> they're a bit loose but they're comfortable so and I guess it kind of sits under your bump I'm so used to pulling these style of jeans up high so I think it's gonna take a bit of getting used to give it a couple of weeks and these will probably be like a lovely fit I mean, I'd still wear them right now. It's just they're slightly more loose. <laughs> I feel like it's like a really weird in-between stage where clearly I don't have a big bump yet, <laughs> but my jeans also don't fit. <laughs> Why I'm living in the maternity leggings, in all honesty. Let's try the little shorts on, see what these are like. 
yes like these very comfortable <laughs> little shorts for the summer over the bump lovely should have probably got some of those in black i'm gonna put these ones on now the first ones i picked up that i said looked quite big Yeah, these ones are slightly baggier. These do not fit me yet. At all. <laughs> We're a bit loose here. I might have to send these back. It's going to be a very long time until I fit into these, I think. How funny, they're the same size as the other ones. but And the back is like, I don't know if you can see that, like hanging off. Okay. They can go back. I feel like now um, I'm remembering quite a few people making videos talking about maternity jeans and how difficult it is to find a style and a size that fits you and your growing bump. Um, I can see that now. Okay, now the River Island ones. These ones are the over the bump style. So let's let's see what these look like. um i don't uh, they fit these ones fit really nice i just don't think i like the, the very tiny little crotch area <laughs> no jeans are this small here like this needs to come up like i guess it can't because that's the bump bit the high back of the jean and the very very low tiny crotch because even if i wore that with like a t-shirt that just looks so bizarre <laughs> you can like i guess you just have to wear like a really long t-shirt like this and just cover cover the whole thing up i feel like these fit me the best out of all three definitely the question is do i do i just not wear jeans <laughs> do, is this just not for me i don't know i don't know if i like the over the bumpness of these they definitely feel like they're going to stay up more than the others they're just so strange i think i'm just so not used to having it's because they're so like low rise even though these are called high rise which the only bit that that's rising high is this bit <laughs> i don't know how, how, what to make of maternity jeans <laughs> i've never dabbled in maternity jeans before i haven't really ever looked at a pair before i'm not gonna lie but do you know what i mean like i just feel like the actual jeans bit is is hanging off my vagina i guess unless you opt for like a skinny pair of jeans maybe like a pair of skinny jeans is different well, maternity jeans recommendations would be much appreciated. Although if you tell me now that they're all like this, then maybe I'm just not going to be a maternity jeans wearer. <laughs> they just feel so uncomfortable and like they're gonna fall off. Like they're hanging off your fanny. <laughs> I don't even know which I prefer. Did I prefer the over the bump or did I prefer the side panels? Because I suppose the ones with the elastic at the side I couldn't really use to their full potential because even though I bought my size, they were too big. But they had a better crotch area. <laughs> I think I might just keep this pair, the first pair I tried on, because I do feel like in a couple of weeks, I think I might like these ones, but I'm gonna get rid of the other two. And the leggings are just easy. And the cycle shorts are just easy. Something to just throw on when it gets hot. So it wasn't all a fail. I'm gonna go and put some comfy trousers on. <laughs> I don't think I can bear putting my other jeans back on now with the old hairband trick. We did all go out for an outside, oh my God, it's dark in here. An outside pub dinner, like picky bits. Um, which was really nice and now I've just got back and I don't know about any of you but sitting outside 
always just makes me so cold that when I get back, I'm like, I just need a bath to warm up. So I'm gonna run a bath. What am I gonna use? I've been using a lot of oils. So I've been using the L'Occitane shower oils to wash with, but when I actually have a bath, I've been really enjoying oils, just to keep my skin nice and, what's this one, Wren, it's nice. This one is also lovely, the Neil's Yard Mother's Bath Oil, basically because I'm trying to keep my skin as like moisturized as possible because I've been very itchy and I feel like itching means stretch marks. <laughs> so as much as I don't care what will be will be, um, you know, I'm trying to stay nice and hydrated. Oh, let's put this plug in. Get the bath going. I'm gonna run this bath and then I'm gonna read a bit more of my pregnancy book. This is the one I'm currently reading. This is the Pregnancy, The Modern Midwife's Guide to Pregnancy, Birth and Beyond. Um, I'm literally so nearly done. I'm so close to the end. But I have a whole stack of books that I've ordered or that I've been given as gifts um, that I'm going to attempt to try and read through over the next couple of months. Um, but yeah, this is the one I'm currently reading. I'm really enjoying it. It's so informative and tells me so many things I had no idea about. But if you want me to like chat through some of the books that I have got or that are on my to be read pile that are to do with pregnancy or birth or breastfeeding or anything like that then I'll maybe show those in my next vlog um, in case any of you are looking to also purchase some books but yeah this is the one I'm gonna read I'm gonna get in the bath and then probably get an early night to be fair there we has it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a cat Oh, he actually has. <laughs> what? Good morning, everybody. It's Thursday now. I feel like this vlog has been quite disjointed. <laughs> um, but I feel like all my vlogs are fairly disjointed anyway, so it makes no difference. Alfie and I have done something very exciting today. We've had this date in the diary for a while, haven't we? We've got the day fully off of work. Day fully off. And we have come to John Lewis to have a little look at prams, car seats, monitors little baby monitors yeah, get a feel for some slightly more practical baby items which i did say in my last vlog we were we didn't have any of but that's because we wanted to test them out yeah we wanted, we wanted to, be able to, to like touch it. them feel we them push them do you think they've got the fake babies here i don't know but and then you can like i want to see if i can get one of those holder things <laughs> baby carrier the baby carrier on the front <laughs> i'm really excited though so yeah, we're here and we're about to go inside. I think we're gonna get a little snack first because I get hungry all the time. I just need to keep grazing basically. So I'm gonna go into m and first and get my favorite cookies of all time. Do you know the ones I mean? I know exactly the ones. I don't think you do. I think you're thinking of different ones. Hmm. I'm thinking of the ones that you can dip in tea and are ridiculous. No. How do fresh I know bakery, you? Fresh bakery ones. Yes. See. How do I'm, I know you were gonna guess? But which ones? ones though? Well, you tell me. You think you know? No, but which ones from the fresh bakery? The cookies. Just standard cookie. Milk chocolate cookies. No, it's not about that. Well, what, you go like the white triple chocolate. Oh. Triple chocolate. Nah, too much. <sighs> so good. Too much. Oh, look at that little baby. Um, oh, there might be quite a few people with babies in like push oh, chairs and stuff that we can literally. Them if we could borrow their baby. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to try on this baby carriage. You mind? I haven't, we haven't got baby yet. Like the baby's in her tummy. So do you mind if I just pop yours in and have a little spin? She's been kicking like crazy the whole way here onto my seatbelt, and I kept saying to Alfie, "Oh my god, I don't even really have." like a substantial size bump yet and it's already quite uncomfortable with the seat mm. belt. I don't know how you there do it. There must be a little technique. Please tell me if there's some sort of technique or obviously safety comes first, mm. but... Um, you might be able to get like a little padding that goes around this bit of the seat belt or something. Do you it's know what not I mean? that bit, it's the bit at the bottom. That's what I mean, but it comes around here and it could be like padded. And it might just be because she's kicking up. it. She basically goes 
wild in the car, which I said to Alfie, I don't know if that's a good thing or not because most babies sleep in the car and it's like a godsend to all yeah. parents because they're like, the car without fail will make my baby yeah. sleep. But at the moment, being in the car and having the music on is her abs, like she's at a concert. She's, she's moshing at a concert every time. And it's, it's painful. Which is <laughs> like, yeah, that's cute now. But when, when we put her in the car and she cries every time, that's not going to be cute. Can you imagine? She'll be in the back like, Aah! That could be fun. That could be fun. Anyway, right, let's go. Okay. Oh my God, I don't think they've got them. Oh, yes, that's they do. That's my guy, triple. <laughs> do you want some or no? Triple. No, I shouldn't. No, it's all about these. What? Oh, Wow, that's so cool. We're back in the 19, what would that have been, 50s? Don't know. Uh, yeah. There we go. There we go. Oh. Lovely. Pull this bit or push it. So you pull the, gr you slide the green bit and pull the green so bit. The green to the oh, side, bloody, bloody yeah. Bloody, yeah. Ah. Yeah, that's handy. So we're currently looking at a little eye candy peach. I'll be taking it for a little so spin. Smooth, it? It's very it's smooth. <laughs> Walking along with a little pub on the beach. And then we're also looking at the um, which one's this one? The bugaboo fox two which I also quite like. I quite like that one. John Lewis <clears throat> lovely experience um, they were all super helpful can I quickly do one there I don't think you've cleaned this lens in what two years everyone was super helpful I just learned more about car seats and push chairs in that hour we how long were we in an hour and a half maybe mm. than I'd than I ever knew before um, and we ended up going for a car seat which is the one that we were like thinking about wasn't mm -hmm. it and that was the um cybex cloud z zi i think it was <laughs> i feel like you're just not you're like hiding <laughs> off you know camera. <laughs> i just had so much cookies checking my tooth i was like this <laughs> yeah, and then but... i was just picking out my tooth and then i was like <laughs> We also got a baby carrier. Alfie went for a little ergo baby. The ergo baby. The ergo. Looks super comfortable. And a little baby towel, which isn't what we came out for, but it was really cute. So, it's so was. Cute. And actually, I did. I stayed away from. They didn't have baby clothes in there because no. it's John. It's a John Lewis home. Mm. So it meant that there was no baby clothes, but they did have those cool like sleeping bag things that babies have and I was like oh they're pretty cool but look at that pigeon they had so much and so many different options of everything mm. that it's genuinely so hard to pick and the staff were unbelievable like so good and so helpful and so knowledgeable helping us pick but if there wasn't any staff there I would have just been like I have no idea what to do I really like that she showed us and then like left us to like 
yeah. have a play around because she showed us how to collapse and I do think this stuff is important and you will never get this service online mm. is like where they show you like how to collapse it and yet like yeah you can watch a YouTube video or read through the manual but it's so much can you hear the strain on my, my voice is all strained yeah because I've been talking for? too much really yeah this is eating. this is what happened last time and everyone cookies. said that my that oh yeah every, all in voice. your comments were saying that your voice is different <laughs> Laurie's voice is my not voice any is different. Tired. It gets tired. <laughs> I can tell when it sounds funny. Um, for her to do the demo, mm. folding that push chair up, and then and then I was like, right now you give a go, give it a yeah. go, and then I gave it a go. Now I'm like, I would know. <laughs> Hundred percent how to do it. I'm so happy. And so quickly. I would know how to do it now. And now we've got a couple of prams that we really like in mind. But now we're just going to nip into Home Sense. I haven't been inside a home sense in a long time and I really want to go to home sense. Mark's going to be jealous. He actually will be so sad. He's going to be sad if he knows. If, if he Mark, sees this, I'm he's going to be sad. I'm really sorry. <laughs> this is Mark, I'll FaceTime you <laughs> and I'll I'll buy you what, what, what you would be buying yourself. <laughs> He'd go straight to that candle section, I can tell you that. To be fair, he did go in a home sense the other day without <laughs> me, so. <laughs> well. So it's fine. Okay, right, should we go? Yeah, I kind of want to go to back to m and get a sandwich. I knew you would want to do that. Because do you know what we could have done? What? Bought a sandwich, just left it in the car. Well, that's where you're wrong. Try and work out why. Because you went into John Lewis. No. Why couldn't we have got my sandwich prior to going to John Lewis? That's the riddle for today. Because it would have been cold. Because I'm going to get a toasty. Ah. We've got some really lovely baby blankets in Home Sense, but that was the one thing I joked that we already had quite a lot of, so I'm being well restrained, but this one is my favourite. Look at that. It's so cute. We are now home, and I've had a very exciting delivery. I'm gonna open this. Do you wanna see? Is it what I think it is? Serious? Look how cool Yo. it looks. It's the Magpie Society One for Sorrow paperback version. So this is the one that's obviously already out. Mm -hmm. This is not the one we've just written. That would be very quick turn it, turning, turn around. Oh my God, it looks great. This is the first time I've been able to see it in person see? because of COVID The obviously. design is so sick, isn't it? Yeah. Dear Zoe, don't they look amazing? So exciting that these book one paperbacks are here just as we're editing book two. Lots more excitement to come. So Enjoy, nice. Emma. Oh. <laughs> Emma is our editor. But yeah, look at that. It looks so good. I know that some people prefer to read a paperback than a hardback. Oh, I've got three. Oh my God. So judging by the date that I currently have in my diary, which I don't think is gonna change now, but I don't know, because of coronavirus things change all the time <laughs> but as it stands the paperback is being released on june the 10th so if you've not yet read amy and i's um first book together which is the magpie society one for sorrow which did come out in hardback last october then it is coming out in paperback on june the 10th and yeah so this has the prologue for book two which is the one we've just written and it's a really juicy prologue so if you were left wondering what on earth is going to happen next because of the cliffhanger you're going to really enjoy the prologue in the back of this so there we go exciting times it looks so good i'm going to text amy now we're opening the box just to check everything's all right i've already opened it Oh, you already already opened it. Well, I scored it. Um, we went for Cloud Z I size or Cloud Z. I don't know if you say Z or Z. 
we have only got the chair. We tried to get the ice fix, fix, but they didn't have it in stock, so we've ordered it online. We still got a bit of time, you know. <laughs> still got, it's, it's coming tomorrow, so hopefully. <laughs> so hopefully we'll be hopefully all right. We'll be all right wow. What is it, Nala? Oh no, she's like, sweet, it's for me. What's this that? Is not for you, baby. No, not baby. Can't call her baby. <laughs> Pretty light. We also never even saw it in black. No, we didn't. No, because they had it in. Oh, we probably should have asked to see it, really. Right, we right. we were just like, yeah, we'll take the black one. <laughs> oh, it's lovely. <gasps> Alfie, do you know what's wild? What? We're going to bring our baby home in that. Yeah. You looked really nervous then. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what? What? One minute. There we go. And then how do you She's make it go flat? As well. No, that's not what's going to happen at all. Like no. Get her used to the waltzes. <laughs> and then show how it goes flat. This is why we liked it. Obviously, it doesn't go flat while you're driving. Or is it already laying flat? No. So this is up, and then you pull this. Yeah. This. 170 degrees, so not quite flat, that's 180 is flat, but it goes 170. And then you can pull the little hood over. Lovely. Chilling like that. It's like a little chucky pig. And then this is what we'll be saying. Uh, wood like louse this. for those we'll of you that like call it its normal on name. And I'll just be going like this to keep her asleep. <laughs> I love it! Oh my god, our baby's gonna be in there. You're not allowed in there. <laughs> Not allowed in there. Who's this I really for? Like the of it. Who's this for? What is it? <laughs> you've is never it seen you've never seen anything like this before, have is you? It the baby. Not for you, for the baby. Yeah. What is it? Oh, Alfie, do you know what's so crazy? One day I'm gonna be filming this. And Nala will be doing this, but there'll be a baby in there. Yeah, like, but not one day, like... Soon. <laughs> five months. Why has she gone to her toy basket? She... Wants the attention. Never goes to the toy basket. You know, something else is happening. <gasps> she never does that. I don't think she's ever been to her toy basket to get toys out. It's, it's only ever other dogs well, that come here. I was on FaceTime with Mum a minute ago, and she said that she's bringing Buzz over. What is she doing? I feel like anyone who knows Nala right now is going to be like, that is so weird that she's just done that. But it does look just look like a normal dog thing to do. My baby. Like that? Yeah. Like over the shoulder? No. So just like that? Yeah. That's how she said some people That's hold it. It's actually more comfortable for me. Is it? Yeah. So you like press your hand yeah, against I it. I've seen a TikTok where it shows you all the different ways to carry a um, car seat. Car seat. I think I like just bit like this. <laughs> <laughs> so you can't carry anything else. <laughs> it's half the size of me. <laughs> Hello, here's your car seat. Go on then, get in it. Look you at Nala. <laughs> Should we go then? Come on. Don't put her in it. I'm not gonna. I don't want dog hairs in there. <laughs> she thinks we're taking her somewhere in it. I knew she did. <laughs> but, come on then. <laughs>